Welcome to ESNCAS guys. Uh, today I want to show you how to uh, yeah, upgrade my controllers. Uh, as we can see over here, the, the MyMax modes send um, in addition connector, which is the, the metal part that goes attached to the controller and it tells what color so it matches the motor. As we can see, single pin, blue, yellow, followed by, by brown and followed by, by yellow. As you can see the connections, how they come, yellow, brown and blue. So. In the future time, if you decide to, to have the fat max motor, what you're going to do is, is plug and play. Otherwise, if you connect, uh, you put the yellow in a single pin, uh, you're going to have to redo the, the connections again. So you want to do this only once. Again, the connectors we are using is uh, called MR60 connections, and it comes like this. So this is the one that is going to go, it, it will go in the motor, which is the smaller one, which is the female part. And this is because it's easy to get it out from the, through the, to the holes in the, in the scooter. And the one that is, is actually sits straight to the um, to the battery compartment, which is the controller, so it's gonna have the bigger connector. Tools we are going to use for this installation, it is going to be scissor, wire stripper. We're going to use uh, something to hold it, or you can use simply the the wire holder, and then you're gonna use locks and the wire. So it is important when we cut on the wires. See, we do one at a time. We do one at a time, so, because uh, we want to prevent any damages to the controller. Regardless if the controller has been off for a while, um, you might have a little bit of electricity in the, the resistor, so you don't want to cut them at once. So what you want to do always is cut one at a time. So once we have uh, cut the wires, so we want to make sure they are in the line that we need them, and then we're going to put um, the divider. So what you're gonna do is put the blue, brown, and yellow. Then put it all the way in, like that. And as I was explaining, I mean, the, the way to, to cut this is always to measure how much tip does it need to go. So you can see over here, I just cut uh, the yellow one and it goes like that and it fits exactly. That's the maximum you want. You don't want um, extra wire to be peeled off outside the, the, the cover, which is this one. So, and, and again, the best way to do this is to do one wire at a time and you do it with your clipper. You just move it a little bit and peel it off. Now, and this uh, thing I wanted to show, when you flip over your, um, your connector, you're not gonna be able to see the one that, uh, that actually is gonna be blue because you're actually gonna have it maybe attached to something that is gonna be holding or holding like that. So best way to do always is to mark the top, as you can see. So right there, I know that's gonna be the blue and then I'm gonna follow up with brown and yellow next to it. Now, and this step is very important for you to understand how to do solder parts so you actually don't stop the rest of the parts. As we can see, I have the blue over here, right? So that's the, the, the first is, uh, is supposedly, I mean, the blue that is, has to be soldered on that side. Now I know that yellow is gonna go there. So I know that, I mean, uh, I'm gonna position my my controller in a position that I know that the wires are not going to be twisted or anything like that to make it easy for me to make my connections. So I'm going to start actually with a yellow. And why is that? As we can see the pins over here, how that they are cut, I need to start with this one. Because if I, well, if I'm right-handed, as me, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to have to start in that position. Reason why? Because if I start from here, and then when I do the second one, I'm gonna be making warm this one. So what it means, melting the, the, the plastic from underneath, and that will make loose the spin, and that will make give you problems with the time. So we wanna make sure that whenever you start in soldering, you need to know where to start. And this tip is very important because, uh, I mean, again, you start right there, solder over there, follow with the next one. You're not gonna be touching the other one. You're gonna put in the, the heat, because this, uh, I mean, the. The iron is very hot, so if you start here and then you go there, you see, yeah, you're putting actually heat to the other one, and then it's very minimal, it's very it's small, but it, you know, it counts, it counts with, the, with this type of things. So it's very important for you to understand that part and how it's done, so you can actually do it by yourself. And this tip, um, what, I, uh, what I need to tell is that uh, when you are doing a connection like this, the first connection is always easy, you just put it in, put it in, that's it, stays there. Now, when you put the, try to put the second one, and you go with there, this thing might move. 
because I mean that the other cable is going to be in position, but this one is not going to be. So it's, what happened there is that um, you might end up damaging your, your connector. So you want to make sure that this, this part actually stays secure and doesn't move. In, in, even if you're using these clamps, also make sure that it's uh, secure as well. And if you're using something like this to hold your, your connector, let's perhaps say that this is your connection. So and then you, you just use something like this and you secure it. So you want to make sure that this part actually doesn't move when, when, when you are doing your connection. As you can see, if you use a clamp like this to hold it, um, so you want to make sure that this doesn't move. I mean, uh, this part doesn't move either. What I'm doing is just adding a little bit of flux to the, uh, the paint. And that's what I call perfect connections. And that's about it. Now let's remove it. And make sure that the oil is completely out. Make sure it's here in a second. So as I was saying, we need to make sure that this stays actually I mean, completely clean before actually you remove it. As we can see, the, the connections are secure and are moving. If you turn to turn it, if you try to turn the stance like this and this pin moves, you have to redo the connection. Otherwise, this will give you, it might give you problems in the future because uh, that means that, that you put too much heat to it and then the pin is loose. So as we can see, they don't move. And this is very important. That's what I was saying. You have to I mean, be really careful when you do this connection. See if you do the connection as I did. Uh, the main idea is as the bottom of the pin, it has to be completely filled up with the soldering wire, it has to be I mean, melted all the way in, so when you see that the wire reaction it sits, the very end of it, of the wire sits on it and it attached properly. If you just put it in the top, uh, this might not uh, 
uh, stay secure as this ones are, are now. As you can see, connections are perfect. You have space in between and it doesn't, it's not gonna be any problems at all. So the next step is yeah, simply, so what we do is uh, put this back in like this. How do we do this? Even then you can do it with your fingers. I mean, if it's too hard for you to do it, to do it with your fingers like this, um, you, use, you can use a plier, apply a little bit of force and inside like this, and then until when it clip is done. If your connection is good and you don't have extra melted wire all around, so this is gonna be very easy for you to put on. Otherwise, you can use, I mean, I your, your, um, your player for it, but otherwise, it's simply, you just take it like this, with your fingers, like that, and put pressure to it. Once you hit the clip, the click is already done. You hear that? It's done. And that's your connection. So that's how it's done. So as you could see, I mean, uh, the connections is very easy to do. The most important part is for you to not to overheat it because otherwise that will make, I mean, the connection loose, I mean, the, the pins, and that will give you possibly errors in your dutch. And that would be because uh, connections is not um, tight as it should possibly be. So what you're gonna do here is uh, repeat the same process, adjust it with, um, with, uh, with the motor, and that will actually um, make sure that, you know, you, you match the wires. The connections that you're here is how I do my connections and um, I guarantee that these connections will not fail. And just follow this, uh, the steps uh, how I did it so you can have a successful installation of your MR60 connectors. Remove it from your scooter so you actually have a uh, very good vision of what you're doing and as well, uh, not exposing the battery or any other components. So that's about it guys. As you can see, this is a D controller and um, it's been actually upgraded to MR60 connectors so uh, it works um it, it doesn't have any problems in the future like uh like a melting connector so like these are the ones that i melt um so because of heat but um now this is good hey thank you very much for watching guys and if you like my uh what i've done so please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up that's helped a lot hey thank you very much take care